This is Craig with Carshalton Advisory. In this video, we're working through the Objective 4.2 practice tasks for the 2016 Microsoft Excel Expert Exam Study Guide. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do with Section 4.2 is open up the 4.2 workbook. Now that it's open, we've been instructed to create a pivot table and place it on a worksheet and do the following. So um, we have the invoices tab open, uh, a worksheet. Uh, once we're in here, we need to create a pivot table and we're gonna be doing that by going into the insert tab on your ribbon, selecting pivot table. Once we've done that, we can confirm that we do want to select a table or range, that being the Northwind invoices table, which we already have selected here. And we want this placed onto a new worksheet rather than within a worksheet that already exists. So once that's completed, we'll click OK. Uh, we are going to rename the tab. And uh, throughout this section 4.2, I'll show you three different ways to rename a tab. Uh, the first way is just by double clicking on the tab name here. And that might be the way that you've been doing it already. We'll double click on here and then uh, rename it to by salesperson. Once we've changed that name, we can hit enter. Now that that's done, we'll move on to our next task. And that is in this pivot table, we wanna summarize the values in the extended price field by salesperson. Um, if pivot tables are new to you, I'll, I'll go through them real quickly here. Uh, I recently read that less than 10% of Excel users have ever created a pivot table. So if you haven't before, as soon as you're done this practice task, you will be amongst the 10% that have actually created a pivot table. So the first thing it mentions is we want to summarize the values in the extended price field. So this is our, our pivot table, uh, our beginning working window. Over here, we have all of our pivot table fields. And we want to summarize the values in the extended price field. Now, I don't see that in this list, and I, I'm working in a fairly small window here. So we can actually go into the search window here. I'm going to type extended price, and there it is. Now, when I, oh, I can select extended price two ways. I can either select this box here, or I can actually grab this. You'll see the arrow icon and drag it to the section I want. In this case, it's told me to summarize the values, and this is the summarize section. So I'm going to drag sum of extended price into there. OK, now you'll see my pivot table has changed. So this now is the extended price, all of the ones that are in that table. So from invoices over here in our next worksheet, it's basically gone over to the extended price category right here. And it's summarized all, what is it, all 1,059 cells. 617085. Let's see if that matches. 617085. So yes, so that's su summarized and totaled all of them for us. Um, the next thing we want to do is it's told us to summarize them by salesperson. So I'm going to go back into my search section here and type in sales. Sure enough, there's salesperson. And I'm going to move that into the rows portion of my pivot table. All right, so now what it's done is it's gone back to this invoice worksheet. It has looked in the salesperson column right here, and it's basically totaled up all the values that are in the extended price column for each of these names without me having to go through and do it myself. So that's one reason why pivot tables are very powerful, very popular, because with just a couple clicks, I now have this completely done. So we have our pivot table here. We have each of the salesperson, each of the salespeople listed, and the sum of the extended price for each of their items. Um, that wraps up the second task for this video. Lastly, we need to add a calculated field. We're going to name it bonus. And it's going to calculate a 5% bonus for salespeople with sales of at least 75000 So let's format these numbers here just to make it a little bit more clear for us. All right, so just taking a quick peek. There's one, there's two. We should expect to see three salespeople that will receive a bonus. 
Um, that will just let us make sure that we've done this properly. Um, and in order to create a calculated column, we're going to go into the pivot tables contextual tabs into the analyze section. And then what we want to do is in the calculations group where fields, items, and sets, we're going to select calculated field. Okay, and we want to name this bonus. And then this is our formula section. So we can actually create a formula in here very similar to what we would do in within Excel itself. And so what I want to do is create an if formula. So I'm going to say if, and then we're going to put choose the uh, the field we want. Uh, so if extended price greater than seventy five thousand. Then we want to multiply extended price times 0 0.05. And if it isn't greater than 75,000, we're just going to have that as 0. So let's click Add and OK. All right, so Excel has now created a calculated column for us. It has automatically named it sum of bonus. Uh, we called this calculation bonus, and then this is saying the sum of it. And sure enough, when we take a look, we have three salespeople who were over 75,000, and this is what 5% their bonus is going to be on top of their sales numbers. So that wraps up the first set of practice tasks for section 4.2. In the next video, we'll go through the next group where, where we will be working on the by category worksheet tab. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'd be honored if you'd uh, take the time to give this video a thumbs up or subscribe. Uh, the thumbs up do two things. One, they, uh, they let me know that you appreciate what I'm doing and that you've been finding it valuable, which is going to keep me vo motivated to create more of these. Second, it lets YouTube know that these are worthwhile videos and so other people who are looking for help on these subjects will be more likely to find these in a search when there's been lots of thumbs up so i'd appreciate that otherwise i'll look forward to seeing you with our next video we'll talk to you soon this is craig with carshalton advisory